Hey everyone, this is Matthew Doyle for Autodesk Gameware. Today I'll be walking you through the installation and setup of the Autodesk Scale Form for Mobile Platforms SDK, as well as some basic usage of the SDK. The SDK will allow you to either take existing Flash games and apps or create new ones that you can run, then easily publish to Android and iOS devices. But before you can do that, you'll need to get acquainted with the SDK first. First of all, you'll need to sign up as a developer at gameware.autodesk.com. Once you do that, download the mobile SDK for either PC or Mac development. Obviously, if you plan to publish to an iOS device, you'll need to download the Mac SDK. For now, we'll install the Android PC SDK. There are a few prerequisites you'll need on your PC for Android development. First of all, you'll need the Android SDK at at least API level 7. You'll also need the Android NDK version 8 and the Java JDK. You're also going to need to download and install SIGWIN, if you don't already have it, from SIGWIN.com. SIGWIN will provide you with some basic Linux functionality on your PC. When you install SIGWIN, be sure to include the following four packages as they are needed for Scaleform development. The first three can be found under the Devel heading. BenUtils, GCC, G++, and Make. The last one to install is Perl, which can be found under Interpreters and Perl. Next, you'll need to install the Android Scaleform Mobile SDK. Just follow all the prompts in the installation window. Take note of the installation location, which defaults to the user directory, Documents, Autodesk, Scaleform, and in this case, Android Eval. Now that the SDK is installed, let's have a look at the Install folder. The third-party folder contains third-party libraries that Scaleform makes use of. The App folder contains source code for sample projects, including FX Player Mobile and the Shipping Player. Inside the Ben folder you'll find several important items. First up is the Android folder. You'll find an Android APK file FX Player Mobile which can be published to your Android device. The player can be used to playback any Flash file or SWIF that is sent to the device. We'll walk through the steps to do this shortly. In the Data folder you'll find several sample Flash projects for both ActionScript 2 and ActionScript 3. For example, in the ActionScript 3 folder, you'll find all of the Flash content used by the Scaleform UI kits, including our new mobile kit, Starforce Battlement. Inside the Tools folder, you'll find the Scaleform SDK browser, which is a great way to locate and use the various Scaleform tools, samples, and tutorials. Also in this folder are several important binary files. First up is AMP Client. This will launch Scaleform's content profiling tool which allows developers to profile their Flash content both locally or remotely. AMP can be used to profile your application while it is running on the device. To connect AMP to your device, both the device and the system running AMP must be on the same wireless network. Direct connection via USB cable is not currently supported. Once your device has an IP address, put the address into AMP's connection dialog box and press connect. For more information on how to use AMP, please see our AMP user guide. Exporter will launch the Scaleform Exporter GUI, which allows you to compress Flash files into the GFX file format, as well as to strip and compress images and other assets inside of your Flash files. Finally, GFX Media Player is a standalone Scaleform Flash player, which allows you to test your content by simply dragging it and dropping it into the player. The Doc folder contains a great deal of documentation on the various features and functionality of Scaleform. Be sure to spend some time in here. The integration folder contains resources that Scaleform's build system uses to make FX Player Mobile and the shipping mobile player. The lib folder contains pre-built Scaleform libraries that Scaleform applications link against. Inside local apps, you'll find by default several pre-built sample projects, which are ready to be published to an Android device, as well as several def files used in creating those projects. We'll talk more about this folder shortly. The Projects folder contains the Android Make file, which is needed by Scaleform to build certain applications. In the Resources folder, you'll find both ActionScript 2 and ActionScript 3 implementations of Scaleform's Component Lightweight Interface Kit, or CLIC for short. This is a UI widget framework for rapidly prototyping menus and comes with pre-built buttons, sliders, checkboxes, scrolling lists, and all of the various menu elements you're likely to use. The source directory contains Scaleform source code required to build Scaleform applications. Finally, 
Be sure to read the Getting Started with GFX PDF if you're a newcomer to Scaleform development. Let's try to put our first Scaleform app onto an Android device. For this simple test, we'll use FX Player Mobile, which can be used to play flash files located on the SD card of your Android devices. You'll find this player in bin, Android. First, we'll need to push some sample flash files to the Android SD card. Pushing or installing Scaleform content to your Android device requires the Android SDK platform tool ADB. To make use of this tool, we recommend you add its path to your Windows system path, thus avoiding having to type the full path to ADB and SIGWIN whenever it is needed. To use ADB, launch SIGWIN. In SIGWIN, make sure you change to your Scaleform SDK install directory using the CD command. From there, type ADB push bin slash data slash AS3 slash samples slash 3D generator underscore AS3 dot swift space slash SD card slash flash dot swift. In this case, we're pushing the sample flash file 3D generator AS3 to the SD card and renaming it flash dot swift. The reason we're naming it in this way is because FX Player Mobile expects the first file it plays to be named Flash.Swift. Now that we've pushed a sample file to the SD card, we need to launch the player on the Android. To do that, in SIGWIN type ADB install bin slash android slash FX Player Mobile dot APK. Once that completes, you should see the 3D generator sample playing on your Android device inside the mobile player. The mobile player comes with a performance stat HUD which can easily be accessed by pressing the options button on your Android. The HUD contains stats for frame rate, draw primitives, triangles, masks, memory used, etc. as well as millisecond timings for advance and display. It can also be used to switch between flash files, restart a flash movie, or toggle various debug modes such as batching mode or overdraw mode. Play around with the HUD to see what it can do. Next up I'll show you how to use the shipping mobile player which provides a convenient and fast method for packaging your games and apps into an APK which is ready to upload to the Android market. You can quickly see a sample of the shipping mobile player in action by pushing the Starforce Battlement APK to your Android device which you'll find in the local apps Starforce TD Android folder. Starforce Battlement is a fully realized tower defense game which uses Scaleform as a hardware accelerated 2.5D game engine. It illustrates a best practice sample implementation of a mobile touch based game. To push this game to your Android device simply launch SIGWIN and type ADB install local apps slash Starforce TD slash Android slash Starforce TD Dot APK. To run the game, of course, you'll need to touch the game's icon once it's installed. Creating your own shippable APK file is easy. First, make a copy of the Starforce TD def file in the local apps directory. Now rename it to the title of your application. Now let's edit the def file in a text editor. Change the display name to whatever you want your app's name to be displayed on the device. In this case, I'll call it My App. The starting flash file must always be named flash.swift. The def file allows you to specify a flash file, which you would like to be automatically renamed to flash.swift. Simply enter the path to this file and start up flash. In this case, we'll leave it as the default Starforce TD.swift file. The resources line allows you to enter the path to files and whole directories that contain necessary resources used by your application. Enter a single file or directory on each line. Enter the orientation that your app should be locked to in the orientations line. If no orientation is set, your app will be allowed to use all orientations. In this case, we'll keep landscape set. You can also enable or disable anti-aliasing as well as fmod support in the next two lines. Obviously, to ship FMOD libraries with your application, you'll need an FMOD license. Finally, the last two lines allow you to toggle whether the application automatically installs to your connected device after being built and automatically runs after installation. Once you've made these changes, save the file. Before moving on to actually building the project, we'll need to ensure we have a .android folder in the root of our SIGWIN home folder or your Mac user's home folder. If you don't already have one, in SIGWIN, type make dir 
Android. Next, be sure to copy your Android development debug.keystore file into this folder. If you don't already have this file, you can find more details on acquiring it at developer.android.com slash tools slash publishing slash app dash signing dot html. We next need to tell Make where it can find the Android NDK and SDK as well as the Java SDK. To do this, use a text editor to edit Make Config Example found in the root directory of your Scaleform SDK. Find the Android section. Under this section, be sure to enter the paths for the three items in the appropriate lines. Java, Android SDK, and Android NDK. The paths should all start with SIG Drive C, followed by the path to these SDKs. Now save this file as make config without the example part of the file name and without any file extension. We're all set to make our project now. In SIGWIN type make p equals android space c equals release plus no rtti. Once the build finishes if you enabled auto deploy and auto run, the app should automatically be installed to and run on your connected Android device. If you didn't enable them, simply type adb install local apps slash my app folder slash android slash my app dot apk, replacing the folder and app names appropriately. And that's all there is to it. I hope you found this walkthrough useful. For publishing to iOS devices, be sure to watch the iOS specific video. For discussions related to Scaleform mobile development, be sure to visit our forums at area.autodesk.com slash forum slash game dash developer dash zone slash scaleform mobile dash development. Thanks for watching.